I was so scared the adrenaline kicked in. Tyler Day narrowly escaped injury after portions of a maple tree landed on the tent he was trying to quickly close up. I ran to the front door because I heard the cracking. I wasn't sure where it was coming from. And that's when the branch, you can see it took off the whole front part of it and it hit me in the shoulder. Tyler's neighbors on West Street say the wind ripped along the side of their home, taking out trees and power lines. The tree, the, the, it was like a mini tornado. It cut that tree down, circled here, cut this down, went up our driveway, missed our house, and split the back maple, which is over 200 feet high, in half, and that fell in the neighbor's yard. The heavy winds and rain creating a mess all over Keene. On West Street, the storms demolished a large tree that once stood tall outside a bank. On School Street, crews worked to clear a tree that completely blocked the road. And even getting to Keene was troublesome. On 89 North by Exit 5, a large tree blocked two lanes, forcing a mile-long traffic backup. All of it leaving a big mess in an instant. It was like 5 o'clock, it was sunny, and then, you know, watched the, the news, saw the forecast, and said, yeah, it's a little gray. And then, like, that happened that quick. Now, Keene City Manager estimates about six to eight homes have been damaged by trees because of this storm. In Keene, Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.